Hey guys, so this week we're going to take you to the Chazahowitzka River Campground again. And we're going to be meeting up with our friends Terry and Kathy as they reserved a site next to them for us. And Muttley's going to be uh, experiencing the first time uh, kayaking, so hopefully he does well. If you're new to our channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification next to it. That way you know when we upload a new video. Drop us a like and help support the channel. So Kathy is an artist mm -hmm. and she is really talented with doing a lot of different things with wood and painting and pretty much anything artistic. artistic. And so she took our logo off and um, she knew that I wanted something to be able to hang keychains on um, wherever we go just like either magnets or whatever because we already have stickers and magnets but I want to start doing keychains so she made this for us <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty awesome I know can't wait to hang it yep just gotta awesome. find a, the perfect spot now thank you Kathy and Terry because Terry yeah, worked on it too Terry did this he actually yeah, saw let's not this leave Terry out yep <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're here at the entrance to the Chassahowitzka River campground. You can go right and head towards the boat ramp and the office, or left goes to the campsites. First we're going to go down this road, which leads to the office and the boat ramp. They do have a few spaces here for your truck and trailer, your boat trailers. And there's the campground store and the campground office where you check in. They have some lockers, so if you rent a kayak or a canoe, you can leave your valuables keep them dry. The boat launch is here and the kayak launch is right next to it. They have a little playground here at the campground for the kids. Not really big, not really much to it, but it's there if you want. They do have a dump station that they charge $10. Now your RV sites do come with full hookups. As far as I know, all of them have hookup, full hookups. Here's an overview of what the campground layout looks like. They do have 30 and 50 amp service sites. Some of the sites are relatively small. There's not a ton of privacy in this campground because they do try to fit as many um, RV sites in here as they possibly can. It's a pretty popular campground and it's a pretty popular place to go kayaking and canoeing. On the weekends it will be super busy at the boat launch over there. They do recommend that if you are camping here at the campground and you're going to use the boat launch or the kayak launch, they pretty much recommend that you launch your kayak and go park your vehicle back at your campsite and walk back over, or as we did, ride bicycles back over. They do charge $5 over there to park as well, and that is not included in the price of your stay here at the park. So it really is best if you just go ahead and park back over here and go back over to the boat launch. The sites here are roughly $42, I think, plus tax per night. We spent $85 for two nights. A little pricey, in my opinion, but it is a popular spot and it is a popular place to, uh, like I said, for people to go kayaking and boating. They do have free Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is basically like any other campground. It's kind of useless. You're not really able to do a whole lot with it. 
the cell phone service that we had was hit or miss, um, depending on where you were at. We we have Sprint, and we were getting a signal outside, but not so much inside the camper. Now, we did notice several sites here in the center. This is where the pull-through sites are. And there was a pretty good rain earlier on Friday morning, and when we got there, there was pretty much standing water. You can see the standing water there a little bit still. That's something to keep in mind, because evidently there's a low spot there and water will collect. The bathrooms were appeared to be really clean. We didn't really use them. Um, showers, they have a couple showers. One for handicap. Um, they have a little clubhouse. I guess meeting room here where you can have a get together, I suppose. And they had cornhole set up, horseshoes, uh, shuffleboard. All right, that pretty much concludes the campground portion, and now we are at the boat ramp, and we are getting ready to take Muttley on his first little kayaking trip. The little guy had never done anything like this before. He was all excited. He didn't know what the life jacket was for, but he liked it, and he loved the kayaking. He even got to do a little swimming. <laughs> We are heading home from our camping trip to Chaskowitza and we had a great time. We were both so excited that Nikki and Muttley both enjoy camping and enjoy the water. Muttley did a really great job on his first kayaking experience. He even did some swimming. Yep. He actually swam some and it was so cute seeing him doggy paddle. <laughs> we had a really good time with Terry and Kathy and last night. Um, got to enjoy having Lori and Nick come up um, and have some dinner together and it's always fun hanging out with family and friends. We actually made some new friends with Chuck and Lisa who were camping for the first time next to us and we invited them over and they enjoyed spending some time with us as well and enjoyed being able to make new friends. That's what camping is all about is making new friends and being relaxed and just enjoying nature. So back to the grind and back to work tomorrow.
If you like this video and you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification. And give us a thumbs up. Bye.